Hey everyone, welcome back to another Stream Team Hero podcast. This one, Sam isn't here. Yeah, Sam's not here. So it's just me and Laura. Basically. Basically it's just me. Yeah. The podcast is all me. Yeah, Chris is always there because he's the one with a microphone, but you know, Sam and I are hashtag flaky. Yeah, well you know, I, I Sam is always doing things at the moment, like yeah. looking for a house or... Um, looking at universities. Looking at universities. Masters. Or going on holiday. I'm always at work. Sam's because, just been spending money. I mean, Sam has a much more... Basically, Sam is busy because he has an interesting life. I'm busy because I have a boring life and I'm always at work. And i and just doing grapple. <laughs> so it's really, really handy. Basically, we are sorry, but at some point, we're actually going to do when we're all in the same room. My goodness. On tour. On tour. Stream, Pop- Team, Heroes Stream on tour. Team Heroes on tour. Yeah. Are oh, we keeping a face cam? No. Oh. <laughs> do you want to see our pretty faces? No, if you want to see our pretty faces, you want to stream. Okay, but I can't stream, so... Well, you will stream one day. Oh. Anyway. It's kind of abuse, I guess. I'm really... I know. How are you? I I'm mean, I see good. you pretty much every day, talk to well, you every day. Well, I know, but they don't. Okay. I haven't been in the podcast for, what, two, three, four yeah, weeks? Yeah, exactly. Where no, you the last one I was in. Who right? knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'm, at this point, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, you two have been having a nice time. Yeah. I am still here, though. Oh, yeah, podcast. you were in the last one. I was in the last yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, I was in the last one. That was on tour as well. Yeah, that was on tour. We were in a different place. Today we're in the, we're in the U sh- The U sh- Yeah. The the, the, I'd say the, uh, the acoustics of this room is a lot better. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> it's a lot smaller. Yeah. Doesn't no. doesn't echo yeah. so much. No, I've been good. I've been, I've been working. How, how have you been, Chris? I've been having job interviews. Yeah. As I pretty much say every week. Yeah. Um, what have I got to say about this one compared to the last one? I've got... The, Turned down for a job. Yeah. That I'm going to blame on the fact that I went to the interview. This t- if anyone's going for interviews right now or about to, if you go into an office and you feel like you're the youngest person in there, they're not going to hire you. Yeah, probably not. They, they wanted someone who could do, you know, who could who could do some new system stuff. And then they were like, no, actually, you're too young. You would show us up. <laughs> it's basically what I yeah, said. You're better than them. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm telling myself. Yeah. Oh, you're too good for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's way too sassy. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. It was only 22 hours a week anyway. Yeah. Who it. even needs it? 16,000. What's the point? What's the point? We can earn that from YouTube. Yeah, Easy. exactly. Easy. Keep keep bringing those donations in, guys. Yeah. That's what we need yeah. right now. That one donation. We that got. one donation. How much was it? Uh, It was $50. $50. Still living off that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, What else? No, that's pretty much my week. I've just had interviews. Yeah. You took me to Brighton to have an interview. Yeah, that was nice because I got to shop and it was a really sunny day. Yeah. By yeah. the beach. It was great. And I got to meet two people and talk to them about sustainability land and contamination. land contamination. I think I had a more fun time. I think you probably did. Yeah. Bought loads of stuff. My time was stressful. Yeah, I wasn't stressed in the least. No. I ate a cupcake. It was great. Brighton's nice. Like it It's very nice. Shout out to anyone living in Brighton. It's a nice place. Yeah. Well, if I get this job, we'll be living in Brighton. We will be. Fingers Podcast crossed. on tour in Brighton. Well, this podcast actually, I think, will go up the week after I find out if I get this job. Oh God, that's depressing. So, so this is me. We're like, this is. I'm us. really hopeful. All positive, looking for the be- to- toward the future. Wow. Yeah. And then you know, in two weeks' time, you'll find out if I've. Well, yeah. I'll, in two weeks' time from this day, but one week for you guys. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, I didn't get. Or it. if you look, look at my Twitter, you'll probably find out. Yeah. Yeah. So, one thing on this week. Okay. Snapchat is updated, or it might be <sighs> last week. Right, people are freaking out. I know. I love it. I don't love the update. I love the freak out. Okay. It was actually on a um, popular women's lunchtime TV show that my mother watches. On you mean Fridays. Loose Women? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Other TV shows are available. We're not the BBC. We can say what we want. Okay, great. Other, other TV, TV shows are not available. <laughs> no, there's nothing else other like Loose Women. You have to watch it. You don't. No, you it. don't. It's, it's, really, it's horrendous. Really, it's really boring. It's really pathetic. But. Okay. It's a lot of middle-aged women not understanding the world yeah. and moaning about it. For example... That is so accurate. They were moaning about Snapchat and saying yeah. how dangerous it is, this new update, which is kind of creepy. Yeah, the, you, I assume you're talking about locations where it literally shows you the exact location of somebody's house. Yeah. So they Snapchat, it, for anyone that doesn't know... If you, if you haven't turned it on... Yeah, if, if you haven't turned it on or if you haven't updated your app because, you know, who can be bothered with that shit. Yeah, or if, fine. like me, you deleted Snapchat... Many, many months ago. Yeah. Because I was bored with it and I Insta story now. Oh, yeah. Insta story doesn't tell people your location. It doesn't. No. Yeah. Anyway, what what exactly is the update, Chris? You explain it because I'm not that. Oh, it's, it's glorious. Okay. All you do is you zoom out. Right. And then you see the world and you say, yes, I want to be spotted. <laughs> you see the world. Yes. Yeah. You're enlightened. 
Snapchat has opened my eyes. Okay. Actually, none, none, none of the people on, Snapchat, on my Snapchat have their location on. Mm. So I have no idea what people are doing. But... What's even the point? Oh, exactly. What is even the point? I can't mm. stalk anyone. But I, mine's on ghost mode as well, so no one finds me. But it does ask you straight away, do you want to be visible? Right? And there was a... This mother was on Loose Women. And she was like, you can't turn it off. It automatically sets you to being spotted and paedophiles and terrorists are going to come and find you and steal your, Ugh. steal your, don't know, your children. Yeah. Steal your children, right? But the girl on the, the door was like, yeah, I, I did, I turned it off and uh, oh, you can't turn these things off. And I literally just went onto my phone and turned it off. Scaremongering is a thing. It is. That technology does. And yeah, the Snapchat update is dumb. I don't, I have to say, I don't see the point. It's dumb. Because nobody really follows just their friends on Snapchat no, or has anymore. just their friends following them on Snapchat. Especially celebrities. Yeah, especially celebrities and like YouTubers mm-hmm. use it a huge amount. And people are always trying to stalk them, so I'll tell you something though. This this young this daughter did yeah. point out something. She said that her friends turn it off when they want when they go out, but they don't want other friends to like they're not inviting them. Oh yeah. But then it's made people see this and be like, Oh, you're out partying and I'm on my own. In my house. Oh, God. And it's like, come on. This, this is not a problem. It shouldn't be a thing. And it just annoys me that technology does this thing. They inv- add something. goes, you know what? This is what you need. You need to know yeah. where you, your friends are all time so that you can be depressed about when I mean, you're not invited to things. Well, all app updates recently have just angered me. Yeah. I mean, everyone is still kicking off about the Instagram algorithm and it's been like a friggin' year. Mm. That algorithm is a bitch. i tell you something. YouTube. YouTube algorithm. Yeah. All right. I always see on Twitter, and if anyone who has tweeted this watches this, listens to this, they're probably going to stop listening because I might anger them or might disagree. You might disagree, but they're always saying, "Oh, Twitter's unfollow unsubscribing people from my channel. Oh, why am I not being found by so many people? Oh, Twitter's changed their algorithm, so now Wait, Twitter or YouTube? YouTube, sorry, YouTube's okay. changed my algorithm so that so that now I don't appear on people's feeds. And the notifications aren't getting sent. What's going wrong? It's not. You you just people just aren't watching your content. I'm sorry to say. Well, sometimes the occasional video won't go to sub boxes, and yeah, it's no, a problem. That that is a problem. The sub boxing. But, but there isn't. But sh- YouTube, YouTube is not YouTube out should there. Should display your videos in chronological order to people that you're subscribed to. Yeah. When you go to your yeah feed. Yeah. It's not like Instagram. It's a lot of people that Have don't... Have you seen Facebook have updated, right? Right. And now your notifications, instead of just being displayed in the order you get them, it's displayed in the order they think is most important to you. That's rubbish. Yeah, it's rubbish. I just want to know when, like, well, it... Bill wrote on my wall. I don't well... want to know that it's, <laughs> Who's like... Who's Bill? Why is he writing on your wall? <laughs> I don't want to know that it's, like, Sally's birthday is the most important Do you know what I like about Facebook? It's like, it's Sally's birthday. Help <laughs> yeah. her celebrate. Uh, I didn't realise I was so like, <laughs> crucial in Sally's yeah, birthday celebration. It, yeah, it'll be like, make their day. I'm like, honestly, I don't think they'll care. No, especially yeah. when I haven't spoken to this person in like 10 years. Especially when it says it and it's like my dog's Facebook page that I made for her when I was 12. I'm like, she really, <laughs> she really doesn't mind. <laughs> you got a dog's Facebook page? Of course I do. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I didn't realise it had its it's birthday on it. photos of her and everything. Oh wow. Her profile picture is her in some sunglasses. Oh, obviously. Yeah. That's what you need. She's sassy. What was I saying about, yeah, but YouTube. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not done. done. No, <laughs> people saying Sit that down. YouTube is we're going to be here a while, stifling their growth, and it's it's against them and doesn't want creators to grow. It wants to make it really hard. Well, no, it doesn't because it wants to make money from you. Yeah. So it's going to make it as easy as possible for your videos to get found. And yes, you might think that bigger YouTubers get it easier. Well, of course they do because they have got bigger reach. Yes, it's, it's just true. how it is. You're not being shut down <laughs> because you're shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> They're not saying, oh well. Mr. Jeff and his dog, Bailey, <laughs> and their channel. Jeff and, Bailey. Jeff and Bailey, the YouTubers, they're not very good, so we're going to hide them. <laughs> no, it's based on their algorithm. It's, just, it's, it's, it's not discriminative. It's a computer. No, it works out what is of interest to that particular person when they look at their feed. Yeah. And if they've never expe- expressed an interest in videos about Jeff and his dog, yeah. Bailey, they're never going to see a video and about if, Jeff and Bailey. And if you're seeing a drop in your revenue, that they said that's obviously... That, that, that they're changing a few things, so that's expected. But if mm-hmm. you're seeing a drop in views and a drop in subscribers, maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe change it up. Maybe <clears throat> people aren't liking your content anymore. Or maybe, just maybe, you're now boring and you've done the same thing over and over again. Oh, wow. 
I'm sorry, but I I get annoyed. <laughs> these people do these videos. They don't. They, they particularly people used to do gaming videos. Now they do life videos, and then they run out of ideas for life videos because it's quite hard to come up with life videos if you're not yeah. doing anything. True. And then they're like, "Why are my views going down? Why are my subs going down? Why is nothing growing?" Oh, it's because you've done the same bloody video for the last ten weeks. Very true. Rage. Rage. Hashtag rage. This what do you got to rage about? I don't have anything to rage yes, about. Yes, you do. You always have something to rage I about. I always have things to rage about, but I feel like I can't beat that rage. Yes, you can. Come on, this is this the is rage like podcast. Rage against the podcast. Yeah, this, 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 yeah, Sam's missing out. He has nothing to. <laughs> Next week, we'll have to get Sam to tell <laughs> we'll us what we like, about. Sam, what are you annoyed about? What this are you annoyed week? about? Yeah. So, this is therapeutic. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's what I'm annoyed about. People moaning about the Snapchat update who are like middle aged and don't know what they're talking about. The Snapchat update annoys me. Yeah, it Instagram does. update. But also still upset in, about that. Ill informed people who just make the decision based on what they see on the internet or see yeah. on their kids' phone and don't actually learn it. Yeah. Like like the when they're like they're talking about their kids being bullied on social media. Their kid can block people. They can delete people. They can report yeah. people. I think There's a lot of powers, but they're always like, my kids being bullied, social think, media's the devil. I think in some cases, it is up to the parents to educate themselves yeah. on the systems that their but they don't. children are they don't. using. They so go on they, Loose Women they, and they educate the rest of the world well, yeah, about on how not to do it. Yeah, yeah. They, go, they go on and they're like, there's nothing you can right. do. That's loose Women, <laughs> if you're listening, I want to come on wow, and be a... Wow, we've come up in the world. <laughs> I want to come on and be a Loose Woman. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you all <laughs> I don't the truth do about the world. Chris is much more loose than me and also sometimes a lot more feminine. Yeah. So I think he'd be a better candidate. So I'm Hang gonna... on, hold up. Do they what? not have men on loose women ever? They do, but they're always like... I have to admit, I've never seen loose Although women. Although I'm saying this right, it's really sexist. Well, yeah. Because they have the men on and they always like oodle them. Oodle at them. They're like, ooh, he's hot. Or they're gay. Okay. They're either sexy men or gay. Okay. They don't have like a middle ground. They're not like the average Joe. So I actually won't be allowed on there. Because I'm just okay. the average Joe. Well, hate I'm sorry. Break, just... I hate to break it to you, but that's how it's been for women in television for years. <clears throat> if you're not hot or you're not funny, you're not allowed on TV. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but average men always allowed on TV. <laughs> television is full of average men. This is what I'm angry about. In fact, the world is full of average men. But if you're not hot or funny Did as you... a woman, you're not allowed to do anything. There's a there's, there's a there's a male shortage in the world. Oh, what a shame. Did you see this? No. Eligible smart men are in a shortage <laughs> to the point where I'm sorry. university educated women are freezing their eggs oh, until they find that man, that special one. I think the problem is that men have been so entitled for so many years. Oh no, we're not going. They no, they don't think they have to work as hard, so they've got they've got dumber by like selection. Right. Okay. We're not we're not going <laughs> on to the, to the podcast. No, no. Okay, I shouldn't have asked you what you're about. <laughs> you shouldn't have asked me what I'm angry about. Okay, more more gentle stuff, please. I'm not angry about anything gentle. Oh, God. Not like, you know, <laughs> how they've put some bad roadworks on a road. Oh, or... my God. Those roadworks. Okay, so there's roadworks now on my trip home. I don't, I've actually even told you about this, Chris, the okay. hilarity of these roadworks, okay. right? So the, the lights stop working, right? Right. So what you do is you have a bloke stand there yep. switching the lights on and off. <laughs> really? So these lights, I was like, why are these lights? Like, they're so wrong. You, They let like 25 cars in and then it's your turn to go and they let like two. Yeah. Like, it's madness. You're sat there for like half an hour on this like really steep hill. We're talking like really steep. You have to like, like the pull road your up handbrake to up to the ceiling. Yeah, it's like the road. Like Mount, Mount Doom. Yeah, it's yeah. like you feel like you're trying to drive down the side of Mount Doom. Right, okay. So your handbrake is in like full full tilt and yeah. your Fiat Panda is rocking all over the place. Yeah. And he, this guy is just standing there switching this light on and off. What a job. Like, all day. What a job. And he's awful at it. He's like, oh, it's enough cars. Because he's only on one side. So he doesn't really see how many cars. Because uh, the lights are still weird. connected. So he just flicks this switch and it sets the cycle going, whatever. But it is ridiculous. It's a manual light system. It's a ma- Yeah. But why? Surely we have enough technology in the world that we don't have to have a bloke standing there well, turning some traffic lights on and off. Talk about blokes standing there. <laughs> they, As we were. In my area, they're, they're building a new... Uh, part to a school right and uh, the, the, re- a long time ago there was a road they made it a dead end in the middle by building like a little i don't know a bit of island yeah. so you couldn't go all the way through and when they decided to rebuild part of the school they dug that up and then made that put a gate across it right so you right. can get works vehicles to it so they didn't have to go around the small road they can come around the bigger way but a man has to sit there 
all day on a chair waiting for work vehicles to turn up. That is ridiculous. And he unlocks the gate. Like, all day. I mean, <laughs> can't he call, can't he put like a radio or like a code on it? Yeah. Nope. There's Come a, on, a code. He has a chair that he that he's clearly just stolen from the school because it's just, it's a primary school. So it's a quite oh, a small God. chair. And he's just sitting on this chair, talking on the phone mostly. And he just opens the gate for work vehicles. Like, Who says unemployment is an issue when there's all these great jobs available? Exactly, exactly. If you are unemployed, you have not uh, looked at all your options. You could be a chair sitter, a, a, a light switcher, a gate opener. It's literally your job to turn lights on and off all day. Yeah, open gates. I mean, come on. This is what I'm going to do when um, this, this interview fails. Okay, great. I'm going to go and say, I want to open Let, the gate. In the podcast next week. So my new job, opening a gate. I got it very easy, actually, yeah. I just okay, applied, right. said, I want to open gates. And they went, we have the job for you. <laughs> and they sent me to a, to a gate opening factory. <laughs> you, you set, they, they make gates and you test them. That way, oh, the job that is. That must be Quality testing gates. No, this one's a bit creaky. <laughs> it needs some more oil. It needs oil. And you make notes. You probably have to write reports oh, about yeah. each gate. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'll be, if I did that, I'd, you know, I would go like 100% into that job. Yeah, 110% every day. You would be day. like ear against the hinge, yeah. listening out. No. It's a bit creaky. No, 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 see, at 90 degrees, it creaks. Not that you ever have to open your door. No, it'd be like 93. 93. It's a bit much. <laughs> no, this, this this gate is actually a bit too high off the ground. It's not the regulated two centimetres. I don't think we can actually sell this gate. This gate needs to go back in. Rabbits will be able to fit underneath that. Any, anything. I know. What's even the point? You could, could get, you know, snake under there. Well, yeah. Snakes are a great problem in the or UK. A loose woman, I don't know. They're all quite loose. Thin. This gate would not stop <laughs> stop a loose woman. Uh, we need to make it higher, and we need to make it less attractive. Why is it sparkly? Yeah, the diamonds on the top. No, if it was a sexy man. Oh right, okay. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> See, that is my dream, guys. So that's it. I found it. Okay, great. So I'm going to be a gate opener. That seems legit. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I I just think any job would do. Any job, gate opening. Light turning on? Light turning on. I don't think you want to do that. No. Anything outside, you get terrible sunburn. It's true. Yeah. I need an you'd indoor spend, job. You'd spend a fortune definitely, on Definitely SPF. the gate opening factory. Yeah. That's just, just, just like a... You know the people that do like... I know a friend who went worked in a pea factory for a bit during his degree. God, that sounded boring. Sit, I don't know how he did it. He sit in a conveyor belt, next to a conveyor belt watching peas go past. I, that's the kind of job where you'd probably go home at night, close your eyes, and you'd see peas. Wow. It's like when I used well, to be... What a way to live. I was a receptionist when I was, you know, doing my degree. Yeah. And I used to close my eyes at night and I could hear phones ringing. That's weird because phones ringing is a, is is a an audio. Yeah, no, I used to hear it. It's terrifying. It's because they all have that really irritating um, ringtone. Yeah. It's well, like that film. It's Anyone, so the, it's you've so... seen The Devil Wears Prada, right? Uh, I think She so. has that really annoying ringtone oh, yeah. that's like... Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, but it's so that you it's pick beautiful. it up. It's like, shut Hello. <laughs> yeah, because then you pick it up angrily. You're like, the fuck do you want? <laughs> Why are you ringing me? And then you're like, oh shit, yeah, receptionist. Hello. Yeah. That, that's, if, How if, can I help If you're you? asking them why you're ringing you, that's the wrong... Actually, no, yes, you do. Hello, why well, are you, you ringing me? Yeah, you don't say hello, why are you ringing me? You say hello, how can I help why you? Why not? Chris, don't go interview okay, this receptionist. Is, this, is, this is the thing about interviews. Right, I forgot to say. Okay. Why are they all the same? You go in there, in your suit, you say, I'm here... You say, okay, they'll be with you in a minute. You sit there. They ask you if you want a drink. You get a drink of anything you want. You know, give me a vodka. And then you sit there. <laughs> Whiskey. Yeah. Vodka lemonade. That's what I go for every time. Vodka lemon, yeah. Yeah. And then I sit with there. lime, obviously. Yeah. And they get, where's the fucking lime? Come on. <laughs> give me that lime. Yeah. And then I sit there and then you wait. And you sort of look around the office. Maybe you want to get your phone out because you're bloody bored. But you don't want to because you want to look like you're keen. No, I think get your phone out. So I said, you sit there, look around. It's a nice office. Twitter feed up. You, you, you sort of make, you make, you sit there. I could work here. Yeah, people look nice. Yeah, yeah. There's a window there. I could jump out if I get really depressed about this job. You know, it's good, right? And then the man comes over, the woman comes over and says, hi, nice to meet you. They shake your hand. And they always say, how are you? And you go, good. And you ask them and they go, yeah, I'm good. But you know, they're not. They're just working. You know, you know that they're actually there. You want to be like, honestly, bored af. Yeah. And you want to be like, why the hell am I here? Yeah, exactly. Also, why are you five minutes late to interview me, for God's sake? Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started. I'm five minutes late to interview. But, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, whole other issue. That was yeah. a whole other podcast. Yeah. You know, I, I've said it before, but when you turn up early to an interview, I think that's a good thing. They go, oh, you're early. You're a bit early and put you in the room. Then they turn up late. Like, you're in the building. <laughs> Just start the interview early. Why does it matter? I always wonder that. Just start early. Yeah. Because they, they were late then because they were... Why does it like leave you hanging? It's like a nerves test. Yeah, exactly. So then, as a little motorbike going past. Anyway. And then, um, 
Yeah, so then you, you talk to them and they have a little chat with you and then they ask you questions and they ask you the boring questions like, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you do this? And Not they just here. <laughs> yeah, and their voice just changes into this robotic interview voice. Yeah, because they're reading off a sheet. Yeah, and then I'm just like, do you actually, look, come up with a, well, I wanted to say, look, come up with a, why should I work for you? Because you're clearly not very good at interviews. <laughs> just come up with a more creative maybe, way. Maybe you should try that. Look, I'm bored of these boor, like, Just standard... be like, look, I've been to 500 million thousand interviews. And they're all the same. They're all the same. Ask me a real question or I'm going to leave. Yeah. Like, tell me why I should work for you. Exactly. Sell this to me. Because I'm, I'm, really I'm selling it myself, right? But they don't. They're like, oh, got any questions for us? And then you ask them, and they go like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. and they're like, oh, sorry, yeah. you're supposed to be good for me. Like, you're, you're supposed sp- to be. Good you're for you're, me. you're supposed to be like this. Is what I'm supposed to be to you, you know? I'm supposed to be fabulous, and you're supposed to be equally fabulous. Well, I think maybe that they're not trying to sell the. job. I want to go to a job interview, and when I turn off my suit, they sit me down. There's an array of snacks. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't care though. No, I sit down. So I'm doing a drink. I get my vodka lemonade. <laughs> And then they're like, right, we'll just go to the interview room. They take me to a room and it's an assault course. And they're like, whoever gets the fastest time gets the job. That would be amazing. And you're like, shit, you're not prepared for this because you've got a list of questions you're ready to answer. And you've got your work shoes on and you're wearing your suit. So you've got to be like, crap, how do I do this? And then at the end, there's like... Well, definitely take your jacket off first. Yeah, exactly. And your tie. And then there's a mental agility test at the end. You've got to do that. And then you get a buzzer. And then you've got to win a chess game. And then you got to do, like, I don't know, tame a tiger. I mean, come on. <laughs> that sounds like a fun interview. And then I'll be like... Apart from the tiger taming. Yeah, maybe that's a bit far. <laughs> but then I'll be like, geez, I really want to work for these people. And I'll put, like, 110% in for the interview. And when I go to these interviews, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Why do you want to leave your current job? Why the fuck do I want to leave my current job? Why do I... No, because they don't pay me enough, right? That's why everyone <laughs> wants a new job. Not because... Oh, I, I want to see myself getting really far. I want to, I want to be a manager. I want to be the king. <laughs> I, I want to fly a plane. No, I just want some more fucking money so I can have a great day and great life. But that is the simple answer. Maybe I should go to an interview and just be really honest. <laughs> just be like, you know what? No. I want more money. <laughs> I'm sick of being degraded well, by like customers when they daily. Say, like, why do you want to work for this company? I don't know. I don't. I just found it online yeah. and I applied. I didn't like seek out this company standing at the door every looking in. Like, I mean, let's be oh, honest. When would I work here? Let's be honest. Unless you're applying for a job at like Vogue or like the Google offices, exactly. it's unlikely that you specifically want to work for that company. Yeah. If it's just some tiny company in some town somewhere, you're not going to be like, actually, also, yes, this job is the specific job I want. The, the, the description of this job I went to was not the same as what I was shown. And I was a bit like, why do you want to work here? I was like, because I read the, the the description was very interesting, but... <laughs> but actually, the job seems really boring. The job, yeah, the job seems like a monkey could do it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I mean, this is why this podcast is going up after I decide and find out. Because, you know, some by miracle, <laughs> Mr. Grant finds this and is like, <laughs> oh dear. Well, you, you haven't said the name of the company. You could have been to 500. I could. You could have been to many, many job interviews last yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. And then if they found it and be like, actually, he doesn't want to work for us. He's sacked. Or you're not hired. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you've locked down side that contract before you upload the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I did mention the channel as well. He was very excited about it. Well, they always are. I know. They're like, oh, technology. The oh, internet. new. Oh. Oh, everybody Have does that. Have you heard that. about that Snapchat update, though? Yeah. How oh, dangerous. Oh, goodness. There was a big meeting about it. You saw it as a big how to how to worry about unnecessary <laughs> things. And everyone was in there and they had Snapchat oh, out. We have meetings like that all the time. How to worry about unnecessary yeah. things? Yeah. Really? Our entire day is fueled by, are you stressed enough? Is your mental health torn to shreds? If not, come to this meeting, we'll make it worse. Why do you go to those meetings? <laughs> that's that's a bad sign already. That's what the atmosphere is like at my company. Why? It's like, we will knock you down until you're a shell of a person. Why do you work there again? They pay me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> pay money. That's all people want. Money, fame, happiness, glory. Right, Lana Del Rey. Isn't that a Lana Del Rey song? Yeah. That's Money, Power, Glory. Actually. Money, Power, Glory, sorry. Yeah. That's what yeah. people want. Money, Power, Glory. Yeah. You can just, like people say, oh, I do YouTube because I want to be friendly with people and I want to make friends and it's a really fun okay, hobby. No. no, you're wrong. Okay, go on. I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. Because you, if you just wanted to do it to make money, you wouldn't be doing it no, because not. you'd still ha- like you'd still end up with a job that you hate. I'm not saying money. You do it because you want to make money from it so you can make it into your job because you enjoy it and you want to do a job that you enjoy. No. So it's a whole different issue. No, no, no. 
I'm not saying because of the money. Oh, right. You know, when people are like, people on forums, I see them like, I haven't got many subscribers or viewers recently. Can anyone help me? And then someone will comment and go, you shouldn't worry about the subscribers and views. Just do what's fun. It's like, yeah, do what's fun, but yeah. make it interesting to but other people. If you want to make it into your job, you have to think of it as a business model. Yeah, exactly. And, and if, you're lying to if yourself. If what you're doing isn't working, then do something else. Yeah, you're lying to yourself if you're like, this isn't working, but I'm going to continue to yeah. do this. And if that means you have to change to doing something that you don't enjoy and that's not fun, maybe you should question whether you should really be doing it anymore. Exactly, exactly. It's like if any you have to job, be fake. if you're like, actually, this doesn't work, this isn't for me, go try doing well, something else. Well, actually, speaking of which, Sky oh. does Minecraft, one of the biggest Minecrafters, he's stopped making minecraft videos because he said it was fake he said because the community is such a child community so it's mm. got to be a child friendly community he couldn't be himself yeah so he's quit minecraft he's quit that channel he's left it for other people to do stuff with or something but he's like i'm not gonna do it because actually i haven't enjoyed doing this for about three years jesus and he's just been making family friendly minecraft videos and all we want to be doing is swearing yeah and you can't swear when you play family friendly minecraft no. Friend, family, friends, food, and features. <laughs> family, flam, fun, flumes, features, and floats. Yeah. That's what Minecraft. That's what you want. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so he's now quit and he's now doing another channel where he does music. What he really wants to do is make music. Wow. That yeah. is a and he has, complete like, turnaround. Several million subscribers on this guy does stuff. Does Minecraft. Jesus. Actually, I followed him on Instagram for a bit. I don't know why. Just did. Do you even like Minecraft? Though? No. Do you even Minecraft? Bro? I haven't Minecraft in years. I don't think I've ever Minecrafted. I Mine Minecrafted... Crafted the most recently I Minecrafted Mind. was at uni on PlayStation. I Minecrafted on uni, PlayStation Uni for a bit. Yeah. But that was that was okay. Mm. Then, yeah. 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 It was only like £15 pounds yeah. at the time, so I was like, why not get a bit of... And someone was like, get Minecraft, we can play together. So I did. So I played together. And I was like, this is Minecraft, it's still the same. Pretty boring, to be honest. Not going to lie. I don't get it. It's... it's all you do is... Well... Okay, so I'll explain Minecraft to you in a quick burst. Right? Okay, Or my ready. experience of Minecraft. You go on Minecraft. Right. You build. You go in with your friends. Yep. You all build something. Yep. Then one of them gets bored and blows it up. Yep. Done. Then you finish. Are you, and you're bored because you've ruined it. Or okay, you, great. you go on Minecraft and you create something. You download a mod, like Tech It or something. Mm-hmm. So you create something really elaborate, like machinery, mining and stuff. And you create huge things. And then your friend blows it up. Yeah. Or, what you do... So basically, you go on Minecraft, you lose your friends. Yeah, basically, yeah. I don't talk to these people anymore. <laughs> Only Sam. Everyone else I don't talk to. They blew it all up. Sam wouldn't blow up your stuff. Well, look what happened. They they built um, the whole of... Um, what is it? Amsterdam. Or something. On Minecraft. Yeah. They built the whole city. Yeah. And they went as like a tourist sort of thing. Like, come to look. Look how it looks on Minecraft. But don't you want to come to it in real life? Within an hour, it's blown up. That's ridiculous. And the, uh, people would put American flags everywhere and put American tanks. Right. Yeah. Like an hour. They released it into the world. It got destroyed. And they were like, we're going to have to This is it. why you can't give people nice things. Yes, I know. It's why we can't have nice things. We're going <laughs> to blow it up. You can't have nice things. People litter. They crash their cars into things. They put cigarette butts everywhere. And they let their children vomit on pavements. That's true. Children vomit on pavement. <laughs> like my street is just covered in child vomit. We have to. Wow, we've actually re tarmacked over it. The land has increased in height because oh, of the amount God. of the, the amount of child vomit. Okay. Child vomit gets everywhere. <laughs> like the, the where oh, I live, we we used to, we didn't used to be on a hill, but we've that, had to, over years of me. child vomit. <laughs> we've elevated the buildings. We're actually on stilts, so it flows underneath. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things. That is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. That is the life lesson of the week. Don't let your child vomit in the street. Don't, no, that's not the life lesson. <laughs> the life lesson is we can't have nice things. Yeah. And you all know why. Yeah. It's you. It's you. You're right there. Listen to this podcast, wherever you are. Tell us where you are right now, and we'll tell you why you can't have nice things. <laughs> Write in the comments below why you, can't, where you what you're doing, and why is that contributing to us not having nice things. And I think that'll be the end of the podcast. I think that will be. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed it, guys. Yeah. Thank you for listening. We miss Sam. I'm sure all of you do, do you? as well. Oh, how rude. Well, I'm right here. I'm sitting next I to I mean, you. it's not the same, is it? You know, without three. Yeah. I'm three sure is the you guys number. are really happy when I'm not here, but whatever. Speaking of stuff happening on the channel. Oh, yeah. We have a new member. Is that we what have you're two say? new members. We have two new members. We have a new guy Sorry, called... I thought you'd announce the first new member already. Fanfare! We have Josh. It's one of Jack's recommendations. Yeah. 
He's uh he's going to be streaming on yeah, Mondays. He's already started. He's already he's started. He's done his first stream. He'll have done two by the time this goes up. No, he won't. Oh, because he's, he's on holiday. He'll have done one by the time yeah. this goes up. Never yeah. listen to me. Yeah. And he'll be streaming again tomorrow, maybe. Does he do? Monday? Yes, if this yes, because this will be Sunday then yeah. Monday. Yeah. So he'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, possibly some. Don't know what he's doing at the what, moment. What was the last one he did? I can't remember. No, he did wrestling. Ah, wrestling. No, that was Jack. He did FIFA. Okay, this is a terrible introduction. You need to try. Again. I can't remember, but I think he's going to do some racing games. Okay, cool. So that's what he's going to do. Yeah, around. he's new. Um, and does then... he have a Twitter? He's inventing his Twitter. Okay, so if it, he has a Twitter, he by has this one. Point, he has one, but he's we will yeah. we will leave it. He's below developing so it better. Find he's him. making a new one for his channel. Okay, cool. He does have another channel. Is linked obviously in the front page. Yep. Go look at that. And also another person is my good friend Jake. Yeah, excuse, your good friend. Well, well okay, fine. Mine is Well, good okay, fine. Well, I know him too. Well, you you know him too. Our good friend. Our good friend Jake. Thank you. He's going to be doing some good stuff. He's going to make us some music. So this podcast yes. is going to get some new music at some point. At some point. And I'm very excited about yeah, it. And it's going to be fabulous. Yeah. And actually, even all the videos are going to get new views. We might even get Jake in the podcast one week, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe, maybe. When the podcast is on tour. Which is the next podcast. Which is the next one. So we, we might, might be there. Yeah. We so might we might have new music then. Yeah, we might have new music. We um, might have a Jake. And uh, he's, also, he's also maybe going to do some streaming. Yep. And he might also. do some editing for us. So yeah. you might see some more better edited videos, more yeah. excitingly edited, because there's more time. And hopefully more content, because we'll all have more time, and it'll be great. Yeah. So, fabulous things are happening over here. Yeah, And we're very if you want to support it. us, donate, subscribe, like, share, yeah. all the fancy stuff. All the yeah. links are down there. Follow us all on Twitter, and... Rate yeah. us on iTunes. Rate us on iTunes. Give us five stars. Yeah. yeah. Please. Okay. We love it. We love it. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.